taking back your power after a nasty divorce, separation, or breakup. Starting all over again. And being numb. That's the whole tea here. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what you guys have for me. I'm Sally. I do the readings here every day for your career finances and your relationship. I am not the cure to your desperation for love, but I am a cure for a lot of other things. <laughs> No, I'm just making you laugh because we have another heartache with the Three of Swords. I teach people how to manifest using different kinds of techniques. And today I will share with you guys something very important that I practice that attract luck, love, prosperity, and good health in my life. I do say dear astrology also. Vedic. So let's discuss how much you feel empowered after the separation. Emperor is right here. Now, having the Emperor... I like how you have transformed yourself. I just don't like how you had to go through that, you know, the Three of Swords. But it is what it is, Sal. And I'm a grown person. I understand that life is not a walk in the park. And sometimes it is a walk in the park, but it's Jurassic Park. It's true. I always say that. Relationship is not a walk in the park. It's Jurassic Park. It's like whoever gets out alive at some point. You don't know if there is that T-Rex. You don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying... With the Three of Swords here, every time you date, it just becomes more heartache. I know, I know, Aqua. If there is a cure for a heartache, well, I already found it. I found it, though. I have no pain, no suffering when it comes to relationship. Because <laughs> I don't care. I'm kidding. Emperor is here. Well, you're looking at another place now, another, you know, thing to conquer. You're motivated, actually. With Saturn in the first house, this is a very good time to focus on oneself. Very, very good. To build a relationship is going to be a challenge. But if you're single or if you're committed to, um, let's just say, first focusing on you, this would be the time of your life. Four of Wands. But a lot of people has the, uh, you know, uh, the tendency or the energy to feel like relationship is what they needed. In reality, it's you who need yourself. Mm. Your person, quite immature and always blames you for anything. Ten of Wands. It's tiring. I feel like either you guys live in together, but Ten of Wands is, you know, like, they always have something to complain. Ooh. I, oh, I hate people like that. I have to say the word hate. Yes, I just hate it. Like, why are we going to complain? We're just, why, why, why? Because they feel like, oh, it's not fair, Ten of Wands. Oh, this, uh, cry me a river. Everybody gets what they deserve. You are an emotional, I feel like a punching bag for this person. They never really bring something good to the table. Pain and suffering is on the menu. Ten of Wands with a page of Wands. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, the Lord of the Seventh, which is the Sun, of course, right now is in the Eleventh House for you. If it's money you're making, money you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Fame and success can also be in the cards for you guys here. And far, as far as your career, Mars is in the 10th house. You're very strong. You're very independent with regards of the things that you do. You may get even promoted. You have the hangman here with the eight of cups. See, there it is. You find yourself with the eight of cups and the hangman. Um, a little bit like puzzle. Like, why did I you know, waste a lot of my time and energy and effort in this relationship? And I'm seeing here the hangman and the eight of cups. I feel like your person has emotionally detached and walk away from you. But an aqua does not chase, but they do wait. You didn't chase. You let them be. You know what they say, right? If they're truly meant, you know, if you let them be. And if they come back, nobody wants them. So don't accept them. Never. <laughs> Just saying. Eight of Cups is your person. Uh, they claim that they're confused. They don't know what's going on with their life. We all have. We don't know. Nobody knows what they're doing in their life. We just like to think that we know. Your person is thinking that they will find out. You won't. You just live life. You know. Do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> Me? I just live through the day. As long as the sun is there, and then I'm happy. That's it. Ace of Cups with the Temperance. I don't make my life complicated. Mm -mm. I just do my 10 care, my 10, 10 steps Korean skin care. It's not complicated. I just do my Ayurveda in the morning, probably like another 20 steps, you know, and then at night. I don't like complication. 
Is it because of the temperance your person wants to reconcile? Is that something that you want to hear during the Mercury retrograde? Even Mercury does not rule the relationship and everybody keeps telling you that your ex is going to come back? No, they won't. They'll talk to you. Yes. Ace of Cups is a message. Temperance is to meet you halfway. It's not strong enough for the transit to bring an ex back. Mercury does not rule relationship. So whoever told you that, not true. Knight of Pentacles with a tower. Your person is stop and go with your situation here. Page of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles. I see that your person can be a Taurus or an Aries. Very mature with regards to how they deal with you. Once they get you with the Ace of Cups right here, and then they tell you, it's like, oh, you know, like, you know, they can ask for the apology. Ace of Cups is a very warm kind of message and want to heal it. Knight of Pentacles with the Tower. All of a sudden, they are also the one who's going to end whatever that they started. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today, get your citrine and obsidian. I would recommend ordering before 2024. Our website is eatreadlove.me. Knight of Pentacles in the tower is troublesome because this is a person who prevents the breakup but they're the cause of the separation. <laughs> Makes sense. My, 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 Aqua. Well, what goes around is gonna come around once again. Wheel of Fortune. Now, if you wanna remove this kind of energy, of course, remove negativity, attract prosperity. I got something good also. This is our stack. Yes, we do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Not that yet. We ship, to, uh, we ship for free in the US. Now it comes, if you, if you purchase today anything in our website at eTreatLove.me, this is our wonderful Emperor 5 coin with infinity knot. This is a double happiness knot right here, feng shui coin. This is an ornament charm that you hang at your home. There's a free class in the description box below. Watch it and you can get this for free if you purchase anything at our store right now at eTreatLove.me. So make sure take advantage of this because I want it for 2024 for people you know who doesn't know I have used this for a long time now I wanted it for everyone and then I was like this was a perfect way for me to give gifts to you guys okay so check it out now now with the wheel of fortune and the eight of wands your person is actually coming back and because they need help with something here mm -hmm. I wonder what they need Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Let me see here. <sighs> I feel like your person wants to tell you how much sorry they are. Because mm. the Knight of Cups with the Five of Wands with the Queen of Swords, but you're dismissing it. You're like, nah. Tell it to the Marines. Heard of so much excuses. They're gonna pursue though. They're gonna pursue, trying to make amends. You got an empress. Oh boy. It feels like there's a switcheroo here, meaning you're in the masculine, they're more in the feminine also. Uh, they expect that you'll forgive them and that you will love them and that you'll care for them. Yes, I see that here. And they're waiting actually for time with you. There's a conversation that is about to manifest and it's about getting another break. Ace of Pentacles is here. The Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. This is more of, let me see. The two of you waiting. It feels like a coldness between the two of you. Nobody wants to break the ice. Hmm. So which only means it's true, Aqua. You're stuck. Even though, I, again... Probably, I'm just saying, you want out. Because you have the hangman, remember that. Mm. Right here. You're stuck. Mm. The worst thing to be in, in any relationship, is knowing that it is not good anymore for you, and you're not happy, and you're not growing, but you're just stuck because of the commitment. But is love still there? Well, of course, there probably is, but it's not how it was, and now you see it. That's why relationship cannot be rushed. You rush it, you know you're going to consume it fast. Because you kind of consume, you know, the energy in the relationship. So it's, it's like this. Build it up until dessert. 
you know, just don't have dessert right away, you know. If anything, relationship is the last thing that you should be experiencing. L experience life first on your own. And I feel like this is where you are trying right now. It's like, oh, I want to have, I want to do this, I want to do that. Because once you're in a relationship, of course, it is a shared time. You're split into two. Mm. So right now, I'm seeing that you're in limbo with that. Mm. But your person, very much persistent. King of Wands, the devil, ooh, desire is here. So they want you so bad. Mm. I feel like there's not enough time in this world to experience oneself, like you, you know, and Sammy. And that's where you want to do it right now. But here comes Mr. or Miss Clingy, the devil. Can't let go, won't let go. Mm. Not everyone ac appreciates, uh, oh, yeah, devil with the Ten of Pentacles. You're really stuck. I don't know if you guys are married. I don't know if you guys have kids. I don't know how, you know, because this is a strong tie with someone. Like, this is deeply rooted desire for each other. You only have the Three of Swords. I mean, you do have a tower, which is trying to separate. But you just don't know right now wherever this is going. And you're hoping, and they're hoping, I feel like it's more of your person, that you will accept them. Well, tomorrow we'll touch the subject again. Make sure to visit our website, eatreadlove.me. You're going to get this free charm and make sure to watch the free class in the description box below.